quite comical watching Ben trying to put the wheel back on. <laughs> 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 It's Ben and Chris here, come on, cut our eyes, and welcome back to another Boosh. S2K video this time. Oh, yeah, baby. I wasn't in camera shot then, Chris. You wasn't. I'm back in my red. Yeah. Loving the, the red day. theme. Yeah. Same day, different video. Yes. Um, still in my dickies. Yes. Dickies. <laughs> but this one is a very a good, good one, one, actually. Yeah, I'm excited about this one, mate. We wanted to do it for a while. I wanted a different one. We'll show you it. Basically, we're fitting a new steering wheel to the S2K, aftermarket yeah. steering wheel by code. Which is kind of a stopgap to the 101. Um, I got the short hub uh, NRG NRG. hub for it, as I didn't want to go quick release because it brings it too far out. Because I'm six foot, there's not much, there's no adjustment on the steering wheel at all, and you can just slide backwards and forwards. I've got a little bit to go back still, as you can see. Um, so I, I've gone for the short hub without quick release because it, it brings it off like that far, mate. Like it's it's yeah. a really long way, and I'll be fucking like dastardly and muttly driving along. <laughs> Um, so I'll show you the steering wheel, but yeah, I want to get I wanted a vertex wheel, but they're like six hundred pounds. So this is the stopgap for the vertex. So let's go, let's get, go over and have a look. When I do get the vertex wheel, it's just a case of undoing six bolts and bolting it on. Do you know what I mean? This yeah. Bit with ease is figuring out how the fucking horn and everything works. But you were tempted by this one last year. I nearly bought it. You nearly bought it last year. And then I went, well I did, I went back to there, uh, went back to buy it and they just fucking sold out of them. Yes, so you missed right. out we on it. We put this exact wheel on Rachel's MX-5, but hers is the Alcantara one, whereas I went for the leather. That's good, mate. Looks nice, doesn't it? I, like I went for the shallow dish one as well, so it's not the deep dish wheel again to keep it as far away from me as I can, because I don't want to be fucking driving on this. It's pretty much, bar a couple of mil, the same size as what's on there. So I went for the purple steering wheel, obviously in the little purple logo. And lovely purple stitching as well. It is, it's, it's good, nice. Yeah. They're really good quality, mate. It's it oh, is nice, nice yeah. yeah. They're very nice. So then that just goes in there like that. Well, you saw us fit Rachel's, obviously. The difference with this one is we've got to actually fit the hub and try and sort the horn out. Which is, so yeah, there we go. It's nice, mate, isn't it? It's very nice. And it'll suit I it like well, that. I think. I think it will. Because obviously Ben's interior is coming together very nicely right now. It is. The seat belts are looking ace. Got a little purple accent. Yes, the gear knob. Yeah. From, uh, that's TGR, wasn't it? The gear yeah, knob? TGR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they haven't seen that actually. That's looking ace, that. I like that. Yeah, it's getting there. So, I bought... Oh, big wing. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> the NRG, I went as good as I could go with the hub, just because, well, why the fuck not? It's not cheap, but he got me. He did give me a bit of discount, so thank you. It's kind of important as well, mate. The steering wheel is kind of important. It is. So, we've got the short <laughs> hub, as you can see, is what, inch and a half, couple of inches deep, whereas you need the short hub, then a uh, spacer, and then the quick release, which brings it out about there. Really? So it's a long old way. So I have no idea how all of this connects up. Not a bloody clue. Comes with, well, you can buy the short hub with resistors or without resistors. I obviously went with resistors, that keeps your airbag light off. But I think we only need one of those, not two. In America, you need two, I think. I don't know what they're for. I have no idea how to wire a fucking horn up. But as always, we're gonna try and figure it out as we go. There's two tabs there. There's a fucking, there's a tab there. I don't know what that does. I think that goes into the existing spay connector that's on there. And then one of them connects to that. I don't bloody know. So let's just figure it out. When he says we, he means me. <laughs> he will. <laughs> So we've had the battery's disconnected. It's been disconnected for about, about 45 minutes, an hour, isn't it? Which yeah, is yeah. Case because obviously we need to take out this wheel and the airbag. 
So, if I get a screwdriver, well, if you go around the other side, so like most steering wheels, there should be your two Allen keys in the back or side, if you like. I think they're torque bits on these. Or torque bits, yeah. So this should be pretty straightforward. This bit. Oh, I'm gonna get an alert. Oh, I have not been in this car for so long. I'm so disappointed in Benjamin. Oh yeah. Mine all the monster bunch crumbs all over the floor. My oh, thing in the back. Uh, your jumpers. Healthy. Is it? So you've been lying under the car. I'll take it off. If you want, yeah. I'll take it off, Joe, from my new fit bod. Oh, go on then. The goddess. Adonis. I'll tell you what, though. You call it. This t shirt, actually, you gave me, that I've got under here. Oh. I remember when I first had it. Didn't fit. It was very tight. No, oh, it was the giant one. Oh, look at either. I now have it. Look at that, look. Baggy as you like. And it's baggy. Hey, hey. Hey, so, yeah, look at this, look. Thanks, Raquel. So, under here, as always, there is a little panel there. Oh, uh, wow. that's my head. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> there's a panel there, and exactly the same on the other side. You ping them off. There, this side, so on the left side, there is a yellow connector for the airbag. And there's a Torx belt either side, basically, to take, take this centre section out. So, let's do that, shall we? Uh, I've got a bit, of, a bit of a big screwdriver here. Oh, what a mess. oh yeah. Ooh. The battery's not connected, so the alarm not going off. You plank. I was just joking. You plank. See, if you notice with Benj, when it's when it's something on the S2K as well, he gets very agitated. <laughs> right. So those covers are off. That was easy. There's oh. your. Uh, Airbag uh, connector there. Connector. So well, I think that pulls out, if I remember correctly. It's kind of clipped in like that. So yeah, you have to take, unclip that. I don't know how you're going to clip it. How does that work, Chrissy? I think they're those weird. The weird pushy, yeah. pushy backy one. They're quite strange. Look at that one. Oh yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? Look. Yes. You'd be there all day trying to pull that one out then. There we go. And then, can you see the top spots up there? <sighs> yep. Yeah. You got one. Should just move to one, mate. Just one, yeah. Try and keep the wheel, obviously, straight before you take it off, because you don't want a wonky wheel. It looks to me like it's a T30. Oh, it's straight now. It looks like a T30, mate, to me. Oh, better, we? Uh, yes, they're in the grey Premier box, I believe. Or will one of these work? Oh. Was I right? You were right. <gasps> you were right, Chrissy. <laughs> Very good. Oh, on the shades long, shades long, every day on the shades long. Fucking song. Oh, no, it's so shit, but it's funny. So yeah, I'm just going to sit here and just chillax in the S2K for... That's the fucking... Rubber. I bet that's going to bloody walk in, isn't it? The what? It's there. It's there. And it is. Big shout out to uh, Mark Diamond and Daryl. I think they come down the uh, down the unit and had a bloody good tidy blitzed up. It, and they blitzed it down here, so thanks for that bite. Bloody blitzed it, they did. Oh. Right. <laughs> Let's see. What are you laughing at? Yeah. Yeah. Right, where do you want me to go? Are you going to have to film me under this? No, I'm trying to give you light. I'll, I'll stop. I'll stop recording now, alright? Yeah. Alright. You don't have to. Oh, I got him. There. Give us a shave long, Ange. On a shave long. I, feel, I look like I'm on a shave long. <laughs> I'm not. Quite funny. Uh, Kevin Meldrum at work as well, Ben's uh, business partner. Every day I see Kev. I say, Kev, give us a chaise lounge. He goes, chaise lounge. Good old Kev. Good old Kev. Right, so they're out. So that. That's it. Should just bloody come in here. Man. <coughs> like so. That's it. That's your airbag. Out. Honda. That, I'm assuming, needs to come up through the hub. Yes. And that middle one should probably that be... That one there's got to come out. And the centre one would be a 17mm, I think. I think it's a 14. A 14? Yeah. Mm. Right, so that's your horn. 
<laughs> yeah, see there's only one ah right so this is what i'm on so that bit that's in there clearly goes inside there yeah and then the ground is made i think on the hub i'm not too sure to be honest mate. It's a bit rough. Figure that out. and then your resistor joins onto those two simple as that really so that was fairly straightforward christoph wasn't that was it was actually mate. so i'll get the gun we'll gun that and then that's gonna be a shit to get off as always well it has been on there for a long old time what, 20 how long oh an old this car 19 2003 19 then what yes, well, impact bit ah. black one you want then you an impact one because you don't want to fucking shred that bolt or nut ah. so you want to use a black one in the air gun bot oh he's there's some pack there. Huh? Oh yes we did, didn't we? It's a bloody 14, see? It's a bloody 14, I think. Oh miles off. No shot there though, eh? <laughs> I said I was miles off, no shock there. Oh he's gone for the big oh, no, this little gone. gun's gonna be oh, for What have you done now? Oh, this is gonna be man enough for the job. Put it on mine. Put it on the Makita. Oh, it's raining horribly out there now, Benjamin. Yeah, not good. Not good. No. Not, not, no. I'm just filming that's a crap at the moment. What the? Whoa! Right. Well, that was easy. <laughs> so, you want to keep the wheel obviously straight as you can. So, we don't want any movement. Does as. <laughs> no. Alright, and then we'll put that back in. A couple of threads. Yes. This is the. Yeah. Ooh, uh, that oh, the C bomb. Bang it. Boom, 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 boom. Gone, gone. All right, make sure the wheel's straight before we take it off. I would say... No, half a mil to the left. No, but it's, it's wobbly, look, now. So if, if I do that up. <laughs> That's about right. I would say... It's hard to judge, to be honest. What I'd say about that. Right. Get it off, and that's the bloody wheel off, but just like that. And then the other bit is working out the working out the bloody horn. To be honest, look at that. There you go. There's your uh... squib. What oh, they call that a clock? It's called a squib. It's called a clock summon as well, it's, isn't it? Yeah. What do they call it a clock? There's a there's like a band inside of it, and my one on my little C one, my little Daisy, is absolutely knackered. Yeah, that's why I've got. Engine management light on, I've got airbag light on. All the lights. You got all the lights. But as you turn the wheel, you can hear it kind of knotting around itself. Oh. So yeah, the squib, so, squib's gone. The squib. Mm. Um, I taught you something today, Benjamin, didn't I? Yeah. So the NRG <laughs> goes to the top. Yeah. And the little white dot that you see is obviously the top. So I'm assuming they just go through there, like a sieve. That screws on there, like somehow I've moved it, yeah. It's oh, slightly off, isn't it? Like so. Mm -hmm. That doesn't... Oh, I took that wheel off straight, well. Right there. Can we bolt E back on. Talk to spec. Like so. Talk to spec with this. We'll just get it on lightly. We will talk it to spec. I don't know what it is, but I think I wrote it down actually somewhere. There's your hub. Very nice. Brrr. <laughs> So this is the bit I don't un really understand, no, this, Chrissy. This bit looks so a bit tricky. Th that's got to go into there. 
Yes. Do you think? I would say so. It's got to. It looks like it's... But then, what I don't understand is the horn side of it. Get the bloody wheel over here. How the fuck does it fucking work, but I don't bloody know. I don't bloody know. Ugh. So yeah, you would think that that goes into there, but then, but then what? Do you know what I mean? It's one of them, but like, then what? So that looks like it would just go into there because it's got a connector on the end of it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like that, and it clips in there. Yes. So that's clearly made for that. But where did your yellow one go? That's that's it. The bypass. The bypass. What are you want about? Your yellow gets your airbag, isn't it? So that's got to go somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. No, that just joins onto that. Oh, that joins onto that. Yeah. That resistor just goes onto there. Ah. So that resistor just cancels out the airbag and makes it think it's got an airbag. Yeah, right, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah, to yeah, do yeah. With the horn. That's just the airbag. But okay. what's weird is that clearly clicks into there. It literally fits in there perfectly. Yes. But then what I don't understand is what are, they, what are these for? Because then there is some more wire in here. See? But I don't know what these are for. They've got a red one. With a little thing on it, which I'm assuming goes on here somewhere. Don't know. But then you're gonna need it. Well, yeah, that's so that's your ground. So that's that's grounded to there. So that's that's correct. So that that's right. That is your ground. But I don't know what you then have to do here. Does it go on that one? Does it go on that one? We just don't know. So I think we'll do this bit first. Yes. Get the battery back on, because nothing can happen now, obviously, because there's no airbag in. And then we'll just maybe touch that onto there <laughs> and press the button, see if the horn goes off. If it does, then... It works. It works. And then yeah. we'll turn that over to there. If it doesn't work, see what happens with that, and then touch it on somewhere and beep, beep. It looks like, given what kind of connector that is, that, that should go in there somewhere, I think. See what I mean? In one of them, but I don't bloody know, Chrissy. Well, we'll figure that out. Yeah, we're going to have a little fiddle now. And then we're going to... And then uh, that's, this is the main bit, is just making sure the horn works, and that's it. Yeah. So uh, we'll fiddle with that, and then once we've figured it, we'll show you how we've done it. Yeah. Yeah. Progress report, Benjamin. Progress report is... Right, so you put the resistor onto the one that was the airbag connector which is fine, that's, that's very straightforward. But what we couldn't figure out was the horn side of it. So we just put, reconnected the battery and had a fiddle around. So the black cable that's connected to the short hub itself, we added, it comes with two connectors with, with the, uh, the boss kit. So we put one of the connectors in the center, like so. And then the black lead that comes from the car itself, which is, was the ground which had that plug on it, We've chopped off and we've just crimped it and joined it onto the other side of the horn. And she bloody ready works. <laughs> so it's it's really quite straightforward. Um, what we did to start with was the ground from the short hub. We just touched on that connector, didn't we? Yeah. And it sounded the horn. So all that horn is doing is breaking the connection between them cables. So there's a there's a break in them cables now. When you push it, it joins the cables back together. So that is your bloody horn. So now we need to try and fit all of that in there and then somehow get that in there as well. And then the steering wheel on top and bolt it all down. We are bloody good to go, Chrissy. So yeah. this is going to be a little bit annoying, I think. So I'm going to crack on, <laughs> try and fold all that in. And then I've got to disconnect that, get the steering wheel on. And then it kind of all clamps together. Mm. That has to sit behind that. <clears throat> so that goes in there like that. And that sits on there like that. Then we've got to connect them up to there and then get all that in there and then bolt it down. So it's going to be a bit annoying, So, but that's the main thing. So if you don't know how to do that, it's really quite straightforward. Um, so yeah, we'll get all this bolted down and tucked in. I'm going to show you the finished result. And he says he's not a bloody auto electrician. Wow, well, Warren. Bloody Warren. good he is, I tell you. Warren says, Warren's boss, bolts it up like that. <laughs> we'll check it in a bitch. Right, she's on. We had a bit of an issue that when we put the steering wheel on and the horn was going on, it was just going on constantly. And we couldn't figure out why. I mean, it's on now. Yay. 
it works fine but behind the horn button is a little metal tab <coughs> and that is its ground i'm assuming that all different steering wheels are going to be different aren't they yeah um so it was making a permanent connection every time we grounded to the hub so i disconnected the ground that went to the hub and now it's just using the ground that was on the horn button so it's got the cable going to the horn button but that's it so the ground is the little tab on the side of the horn button that kind of pokes out here so it was quite it, lovely it, it was quite comical watching ben trying to put the wheel back on <laughs> 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 oh, just shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. But I'm going to get out and show you what it actually looks like. Let's get rid of this crap around. I don't need these bits anymore. Take so those crazy bits and bobbies. Yeah. Before we reveal. Oh, it looks very beautiful. Standard wheel. Ah, oh, yeah. It looks very nice. But I'll show you in a second. We're just going to get the shit out of the car. Oh, mate, it looks so good. It does, doesn't it? It's proper like. Finished it off. It has, yeah. It's one of them. Oh, I'm just filming my mouth. It's the little things that make such a big difference. Oh, it does. It, yeah, from back here, mate. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it does. It, finishes it suits it, the it? car now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you definitely made the right choice going with leather, I think. Yeah, I was close to the Alcantara, you've got, but... You've got no Alcantara in the car, though. No, exactly. No, that's um, a very good point. Yeah, you're right. So, it looks beautiful. Are you ready for this? Let me put the light on. Let's get it from over here. There she is, look. We've got the purple belt. The purple... Shift knob, the purple behind the headrest. Purples. And then we've also They're now. kind of purple slash pink. Yeah, difficult. But yeah, look at this. It looks sick. And like I said, I'm mate, really happy with it, mate. It looks here, awesome. If you look from here as well, look, you've got. Oh, yeah, the little mean? purple bit on the top, look. Oh, I love it, mate. It's like, great. I really love it, and it feels really, really nice. Have a feel, Chrissy. It feels sporty. Aftermarket oh feels my like, God, yeah, doesn't it? And it look, yeah, it's just something about it. Yeah, I'm really happy space. with that. Nice size, it hasn't brought it too close because I went for obviously the shorter hub in behind there, so it's not any closer, I don't think, than the stock one. It's great. Oh, you look good in there, Chrissy. That's the annoying part, is you can't drive like that because the door's so high. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, good, doesn't it? I don't have a little feel of your knob as well, Ben. Have a feel of a knob. Oh, oh yeah, that's good, isn't it? Mm, like that. That's yeah. because I always drive holding the top. Yeah. But I've been trying to get used to driving like that because it's a taller knob. Mate, that's such that is such a short it's throw so short. for a standard box. There's, there's, it's direct into the box as well, though. I guess there's no yeah uh, no, rods or anything no in linkages. there. It's literally just that's washed straight yeah. in there. But yeah, mate, I am very happy with that. That's cool. Man. Awesome. Feels nice. Glad I went with the leather because it matches the leather in the interior. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, I'm very happy. It's so much purple in here. Look, we've got purple wheel nuts. We've got purple decals on the side, purple calipers. Oh, mate, I'm so happy to just go cruising. I know, but if, as you can probably hear, if you listen, it is pissing it down with rain. So there we go. That's how, how you put a aftermarket steering wheel in your S2000. It's, my God, I'm blinding myself. It's a bit tricky, the horn thing, because I just don't really know how they bloody work. Do you know what I mean? But it works. <laughs> Just don't connect up both of the connectors. Yeah. So uh, it's weird. So the ground is... This. The horn ground yeah. is made by the steering wheel button itself, not the cable joining to the hub. It's very strange, but whatever. It works and nothing's gone pop. All my fuses are still intact. So uh, we must have done it right, Chrissy. Yeah. It's gonna bug me. Oh, you might wanna... I haven't tightened that up. Oh, yet. yeah. So I think that I'm going to take it back off again or what? So. Oh, I see. So, yeah, I'm, mate, I'm so, I, oh, Shame is absolutely shitting down the rain because we could have gone for a little, I would have loved for to a little drive. I've been in this car for so long. And uh, I want to feel what it drives like now because uh, I think it's. Let's get a tape measure and see. We measure the circumference, well, side to side. Oh, at the last longest point. And I'll see what the difference is on here. I think they're very similar. From edge to edge. About 350? I yeah. think, yeah, I'm sure it said it was a 350 or 355 wheel. And this one. A lot smaller. You reckon? Yeah. I thought that one was going to be smaller. 358. Oh. Really? Something like that. So it's, so that one's it's, actually... it's literally millimetre difference. Yeah. I'm so happy with that, mate. It's totally it's transformed. Brilliant. Looking into the car, yeah, 
it now the interior is matching the exterior more. Do you see yeah. what I mean? Uh, uh, definitely the right choice. Yeah, I think definitely. so. And like I said, it's a stopgap to the one I actually want, but I actually love it. Yeah, I, don't, I, I really, don't really, think really like need it. To and they're, they're like, the show price was a bit cheaper. I think online they're 70, 75 quid. Yeah. But show price was 55, I think, just for the show, and they sell out immediately. Like I said, we put one in Rachel's. And it's, I'm well happy with it, mate. It looks really good. The only really thing nice. that is a slight shame is you couldn't quite use the TGR. Yeah, we've got, I've got some TGR of these. I might speak to them actually because I don't know if they do long ones. So I wanted to put them in there. In there. Put it at base. Um, but they're just not quite They're not long enough. enough. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to speak to them, see if they do a longer version of it. Mm. Um, and the heads are a bit big to go inside go there. That, yeah, I think if the heads first. went in there, they'd probably fit. Yeah. But they don't. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it's it all depends on your wheel, really does. It's uh, but uh, regardless of that, it looks fucking amazing. Yeah, mate, it looks sick. So, well, and to be honest, saying that, mate, you don't want to overdo the purple. So we kind of the with that effect, on about? It kind of matches <laughs> in there. How do can you want, overdo the purple? You don't want to overdo the purple, mate. I overdo every cut now. I know what you mean. But do you know what I mean that looks good yeah, against no, that. Yeah, I agree. So yes, yeah. I agree. Great. Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Maybe it would have been a little what bit more. States is organising. Oh, it's the organising. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm super chuffed for that. Like, I just want to go for a fucking drive now, but it's shitting down with rain. Yeah, so a little bit of a faff, but not so much. It's just sat in a, it's just sat in a seat, fanning around with a steering wheel. It's not like you're under a car trying to fucking get nuts and bolts yeah. out and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's just connections once you've figured it out. And the easiest way to do it is disconnect the battery to take the airbag and everything out then reconnect your battery and you can just touch stuff together yeah, and see because all you're working with is grounds really do you yeah, know what I mean there's much. no live there you're just disconnecting the ground that is making the horn go off so it's just remember guys if any of you do attempt this leave your car at least half an hour with the battery yeah that's what we you always do anyway mess around with airbags yeah, just in case yeah. uh, we've got a few airbags lying around now we could set up some booby traps good can we <laughs> just for that bang might put one some out. horrific videos on that thing. might put one under a certain employer's desk on my last day <laughs> <laughs> So there we go. Thanks to uh, RHD Performance yes, for the short much. hub. It was. Uh, I spoke to him a little while. He gave me a good little bit of discount on it as well. So Quick turnaround like as well, wasn't it? mate. It's, it was. I ordered it on Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. It was there Wednesday afternoon? Yeah. Or Thursday morning. Yeah, I can't remember. Quick. So as always, thank you, RHD Performance. Yeah, they're there. Uh, we're in discussions with them perfect. a little bit. We're going to be because he actually approached us about working a bit closer with us on yeah, the yeah. channel and helping us out a bit more with whatever else so when they're a bit less busy then uh, we're going to have a chat with them aren't we and we're yeah. going to he said that he wants to be a bit more involved with the channel which is amazing amazing of course so it. yeah there we bloody go Good I'm in love with that code leather shallow dish steering wheel it's written on here actually I think let me get it for you what was it called I don't know I thought it was really nice. Oh, half dish, sorry. Not sort of dish. It's a half, half dish leather cone. Purple stitch steering hui hole. And I know everyone's like, you know, we don't want to cheap out in the steering, but they're really good quality. And I know a lot of people yeah, that got them. Yeah. And they don't feel cheap and shitty. It's a little stopgap for me so I get the one I want, but even just looking at this angle, with like the purple on the door. Mate, the car just looks, it looks it's looking sick. It's looking great. Like, it's really looking great. Super tough. I just want to go for a drive now. Yeah. I'll end up in a bush if I do that at the minute. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks, RHD, again. Thank you to Code as well for supplying the steering wheel. Of course. Um, I'll put all the links to everyone's websites down below. Oh, what's that mean? What's it does? Hang on, Des. Um, <laughs> and I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, everything that we use or anything is all down in the description. I'll link the steering wheel. As always. I'll link to RHD Performance. They do short hubs for all sorts of cars, obviously. Um, and there we go. Thanks to Danny and Rich, obviously, at Dino Day, for the channel. Tactical, Tactical racing. racing. Just Toxic everybody. Toxic knobs, carbon everybody. We bloody love we you love all. We love you all, we do. And guess what? I <laughs> Freshly shaved. And guess what? We'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh, God.